If you're a new or soon to be new dad, you have a decision to make as soon as that baby comes. How much time to take off, if any. I'm here to coach you to take every single second. Here are five reasons why you should take as much time off as possible when your new baby arrives. And the last one is a game changer, so stick around. Let's get into it. Number one, you will never have this time again. When that kiddo comes, you're only going to have that newborn baby once in the absolute beauty of that opportunity and that change is going to be incredible. You're going to want to sit and enjoy both the pain, the challenge, everything that goes along with that, and the beauty of holding that brand new baby and not having to worry about work. So if your job offers you paternity leave, there's plenty out there that offer it now, whether it's a week, two weeks, some offer, even offer 12 weeks. My job offered me 12 weeks. I took every single second of it. Now the cool thing about paternity leave is you can take it in basically two week chunks, depending on the company. You can take it two weeks at a time, take some time off, take another two weeks. For me personally, what I did now that I have three kids, my first kiddo I had to take sick leave, I only got a week and I really re um, regretted that. My second kiddo, I was able to get eight weeks. And then for my third girl, she's three years old now, I was able to take an entire 12 weeks, but I took 10 weeks first. And then I was able to take another two weeks before the year came up to take a nice vacation. We're gonna talk about some more vacation capabilities and promises a little bit later in the video. But you won't get this time back. Take the time, hang that with that kiddo. Um, it's going to be absolutely worth it. Number two, you will be worthless at work anyway. If you're a good dad, and if you're watching this channel and you are motivated and intentional with your kiddo, you are absolutely going to want to help out your wife at night and during the day and all the things that go along with having that new baby that sucks the absolute juice out of your system. If you're trying to go to work at the same time, you're gonna be completely worthless there anyway, so why not just take the time off so that you can stay focused on one thing at a time and really truly enjoy that amount of work. Think about it. You're not gonna get this time back, as I said, and your work, your job, your activity, it will be there. It'll be there when you get back. I know sometimes some people will say, hey, but I'm in sales, I make commissions only. I understand that, absolutely. If you can pre-plan, let people know, and build in a buffer at the beginning, and then start a little bit more at the end so that you can narrow that down, again, I still think it'll be worth it. The money that you might lose in that interim time period will be more than made up for in the memories that you make as a result of doing this and doing it right. Number three, your wife, the woman that you married, she needs your help now that she's a mom and she needs it more than ever. So if you can jump in and help out where possible, you will absolutely help to improve upon your marriage now that you're in this new stage and new season in life and she will absolutely appreciate you for it. If you don't help out, she'll remember that as well and, um, and that's definitely something she will keep in mind again moving forward. There's so much that you can do as a new dad. Um, I have a survival guide, actually, if you're going to be a new dad and you need the first two month survival guide of what things you can do, I've got a free link in the description for that dedicated survival guide with all the steps that you can take and follow. So check that free link in the description to download that guide. But if you are looking to help out, there's plenty of things you can do. Just basic general house stuff. Making sure that the house is clean, is a little bit organized, cooking dinner, cooking breakfast, helping your wife out with all the other things that maybe she had done before, but now she's latched to that baby. Um, I definitely recommend helping out with bottle time. If your wife is nursing, you can grab um, a pump for her. You can nurse that pumped milk um, when your wife wants to take a break, especially at nighttime. I will have some videos coming up specifically about how to help out at nighttime. I'll put that link in the description when it comes up, but also be subscribed so you can see that. Um, you can absolutely help out in other ways too. If you've got other kids, if you're moving to your second, even to your third kid, Boy, this is absolutely a time where you need to take those other two kids and get them out of mommy's hair so that she can focus on baby. So there's so much that you can do and there's so much that she's gonna need for you to help her out. So definitely something to think about and keep in mind moving forward. Number four, baby grows up so fast in these first two months. You will be absolutely amazed from day to day how the changes in your baby will really manifest. It will go from 
little coos, little smiles, to recognizing your face, to holding their head up when they're doing tummy time, to rolling over, and to really enjoying those moments. If you're home with your kiddo, enjoying the time and being present with your child, you're gonna remember that for the rest of your life. And it truly is one of those benefits that you can't go without. So being able to see those changes, not when you're coming home from work, but just being there throughout the day, it's really gonna create that bond with your little boy or your little girl that will really help as you move forward into life. One of the things that I loved the most was holding on to my kiddo, especially late at night, and just entertaining, engaging with them. And now I can have those memories and they have the built-in appreciation for that. that is my daddy. He's the one that keeps me safe, that takes care of me, and that will really go a long way as you're moving forward into the other challenges when the kids get older, which is definitely something we should talk about as well. Number five. Get some stuff around the house done, right? You've got these projects, these tasks, these things that you've had in your agenda to get done, whether it's cleaning out the garage, whether it's building something, um, whether it's just simply helping to get some paint done in different rooms. Lots of things that you put off because you're at a job, you will now have the capability to do at any given time while you're helping out your wife and while you're staying home. So if you're taking those five, 10, 12 weeks off, you can look at your schedule and you can look at what you want it to get done in your house or in and around your house and you can really dive deeply and get those completed. I was able to get a lot of projects done helping out my wife staying home and not having to worry about work at all. Definitely, if you do take that time off, turn off your phone. My job in particular, they said you are not allowed, period, to even pick up your phone, engage in email, or anything like that. To check out for 10 weeks is almost unheard of in this day and age. It's so difficult to try to do, but boy, is it so worth it. So those are the top five. I've got one more, a bonus for you, that I think is absolutely the most fun part of all of this. Babies are super easy to travel with. So if you're taking 10 weeks, if you're taking 12 weeks off, plan a trip. If your baby's just coming here in the next few weeks or so, get online and plan a trip, fly somewhere, and enjoy some time with you, your wife, and that new baby, someplace warm, hopefully, where you can sit at a pool, you can relax, and you can facilitate enjoying a trip because boy, are you gonna need it. There's a lot of stressors that go along with this, and you may think, Ryan, my goodness, there's no way that I can get on a plane with a new baby. It really is super simple. Babies, obviously, especially 10-week-old babies, they don't move anywhere, they only cry when they're hungry, they're pretty easy to manipulate, and they sleep all over the place, right? So if you're on a plane, you can hold that baby, you don't have to pay for an extra seat, you can bring the specific baby supplies, they're not big, they don't take up too much room with you, it's really easy to check a, um, a car seat as well as a stroller. And once you get on the airplane, you can have that beer, you can have that cocktail, you can help back and forth with the wife. And while you're carrying that baby up and down the aisle, trying to keep the baby from crying, you are gonna get the biggest smiles and attaboys from everybody that's on that plane looking at that dad that's helping out with his newborn baby kiddo. Then once you get to your location, you can rent a car, you can Uber. If you bring that car seat, it's nice and easy to cinch in and then just get checked into that hotel. Bring a pack and play or ask the hotel if they have a crib for you. And then from there, go to the pool, sit and relax. You can bring a pack and play to the pool. This was our tip that we used all the time and you can drape a uh, towel over the pack and play. It'll keep them shaded. It'll keep the baby nice and comfortable, sleeping most of the time, and you can actually enjoy an easy, nice vacation with your wife hanging out at the pool until your kids get older when you're gonna be in the pool playing. So really enjoy this time. Take that vacation. I promise you it will be worth it. So what did I miss? What do you think would be beneficial to take or to do while you're on paternity leave? Put that in the comments below. Let's have this discussion with our community of fellow dads together. Would love to hear what interest you might have as we move forward. If you like this type of content, give me a subscribe. Lots of great stuff coming soon. And if you're interested in more dad content, click the link right here and uh, you can check out some of my other videos. I hope you're doing well. Good luck with that new baby. Let me know how it goes and have a good day. Thanks.